Having a NAS with shed loads of storage is great, but you need a good backup regime just in case the worst should ever happen. Thankfully QNAP have backups covered and with a quick and simple procedure you can have your QNAP NAS backed up in no time. So with the QNAP set up, which we've covered in another video, the next step is to consider the backup regime. We can get quite complex and back up to remote servers for instance, but in this example we'll keep things simple and I'll be using a Western Digital 8TB USB 3 drive. With the drive connected into one of the USB 3 ports on the NAS, it's quickly recognised and ready to use, although I'd like to prepare the drive by heading into the external drive settings within the control panel. Note that there's a handy shortcut from the top menu leading to the same place. Nevertheless here we can see detailed storage information as well as format the device. Ideally the EXT4 format is desirable for NAS units although you can choose another format should you prefer as well as giving the drive a name before going ahead with the format. Once complete we'll head into the QNAP backup station. Here we'll find various options for backing up data from the unit, including local and remote options, as well as to the cloud. We'll go ahead and select the external drive option though, where we can create a new job, starting the simple backup wizard. We first need to select the destination drive, and select to backup to the external drive rather than restore, before hitting the next button. Where we now need to select the data to back up. On this particular drive I'll be backing up the personal folder and I'll go ahead and select the destination drive, creating a new folder with the same name, and confirm. Repeat the same steps for any other shared folders to be included in this backup job. On the next page we can select real time synchronization or choose to backup on a schedule. I'll be performing a one time backup before I store this disk off site. After which we can select this box to make some advanced changes, such as overwriting older files that may already exist on the backup for example, and setting file sizes, exclusions and other such settings. Finally we can provide the backup job a name, after which we receive a summary page which we can confirm. The job is added to the list and here we can see the current progress, as well as stop or edit the job if need be. By editing the job we receive all the same options. Note that the job will stay in backup station, very handy for quickly and easily rerunning the same job in future. A wonderfully easy way to create a backup regime for your important data.